This is a very different administration than the United States has had in the past. Do not underestimate us and do not try us. America does not seek conflict or confrontation, but we will never run from it. Anyone who doubts the strength or determination of the United States should look to our past and you will doubt it no longer. New U.S. stealth bomber is in the works, and the U.S. Air Force says it could be ready to see action by the mid-2020s. It's called a long-range strike bomber, and U.S. officials are touting it as the next generation of U.S. air dominance. So what exactly does this stealth bomber do? Well, the project is classified, and the Pentagon is being very tight-lipped about its specific aircraft capabilities. What we do know, though, is that it will fly undetected, carry conventional and nuclear weapons, and be able to hit any target on the globe. Hit any target on the globe. Hit any target on the globe. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. We are closing in on the world's most trying time, and many think that this is going to be an easy go time. Many think that they're even going to be raptured out of this great test that is coming. Many are also seeking today for an easy go religion. Many are also seeking for an easy go life that is free from life's annoyances. Too many are sitting in ease. Too many are enjoying all the luxuries the world offers. Many want a life free from trials and prefer a life that removes them from their earthly ministry of being a light to others. Many are spending too much time patrolling other people's lives, criticizing their moves, backbiting, and focusing their attention too much on what others are doing when they should be afflicting their own souls today. We are in a time period where we need to be focusing on self while probation is ongoing. Many have decided to spend a life yielding to the temptations of this world. Many are no longer contending for the faith and wrestling against the wrath of the dragon. Too many are backsliding. Too many are sinking further into the deception. Many prefer the darkness over the light and hate it when their deeds are reproved. Many are becoming too set in their ways and desire to sit in the condition that they are in. Lukewarmness is setting in on so many souls. Many bright lights for the Lord's cause have gone out, which have shined forth so brightly in the past. The corruption in the world has captivated the minds away from Christ. The world has drawn closer to Satan. The world has joined in his rebellion against the law of Jehovah. Satan's armies are training and ready to destroy the elect of God soon. They are preparing to kill every soul on the planet who will not bow down nor be deceived by the Antichrist Pope. The weak will join the ranks of Satan in the end for fear of losing their lives. Too many have a form of religion. They have sunk into formality and don't like change. Many cannot see the orchestrated plans of Satan in all this. 
It is Satan's studied efforts to have everyone sit in ease, to enjoy the comforts of the world, so that when these armies of Satan come banging down everyone's doors, they will be just too fearful to give up all that they have worked for in this life and all that they have come to love and enjoy. In this great and final test, we are all going to have to decide that we will either honor the Pope above God and receive his mark or receive the seal of God's approval for eternity. This world has been taught to clearly go sit in an easy go religion that has caused them to depart from the living God and have an easy go life for the sole purpose of being able to crush them like venomous snakes when they come to everyone's dwelling. When the trials of all trials are standing at the door and have broken through, when starvation sets in, when it seems there is no more mediator standing between God and man, most will just give up their faith and step aside because they have failed to prevail today in their walk with Jesus Christ. What we are doing today is preparing us for the events to come that are coming upon this land to test and try every living soul that is among the earth in that time period. Each test that comes to our gym called life, it is there to help us work out and get prepared for the storm that is coming. The storm clouds are gathering. The end time signs are here. The days ahead are soon to test every soul to see what their life has been built upon. Most are building upon a sinking sand. Are we preparing for the storm that is coming? Can we see the reality of the test that is approaching a world that sits in darkness? Too many are taking off their armor of God without even knowing it. Many are shrinking from their trials and giving in to the ways of Satan. So often are the murmuring lips proceeding forward in today's life, just like it was for ancient Israel when they were journeying through their wilderness and their test back in the Old Testament days. What are we doing today to surrender our lives more to the will of God, to perfect His perfect love in our lives and reflecting it to others? Because the great test is coming. The more we get closer to Christ, the better we will have a chance to stand in these dark times that are coming upon the land. If we do not stop conforming our lives to this world, we are going to surrender to the will of Satan in the end and we're going to shrink into despair and give everything up that we know is truth. Today is the day we are to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling before we stand before a living God who is a just God and who will judge everyone according to their works. Billions want a crown of life, but they don't want to wear the crown of thorns today. Too many are walking a road which leads not to heaven as the narrow road does. So many are trying to enter into heaven in a different way because the way that is provided through the narrow road is just too difficult for so many. That road, that path that leads to the kingdom of God is not an easy road to travel, but the victory at the end is sure where God is preparing a place for everyone who will seek him early and walk the narrow path straight to his kingdom where he is raising his hand and giving us the light of truth to follow it all the way to our Savior's arms and those who will surrender to him and to do his will they shall make it to his everlasting kingdom but those who will not perfect their lives today through the power of God through the written word of God they will shrink when the test comes to this earth and the mark of the beast is finally enforced. Are we preparing for the storm today? Are we striving to do better than what is required of us? Are we contending any longer for the faith? Are we going to the spiritual gym and allowing our trials to press against our life to fit us for the next to come? So often we see how people want the reward but don't want to put in the work for it. 
So often we hear a great lip service by so many, but no corresponding works to go with that profession. Very few want to take up the work of soul saving. Let an echoing reminder press through the ears of those listening at this moment. None shall go to heaven empty handed. We must all join in this work and destroy Satan's kingdom and we must break down his barriers and tear apart asunder his rebellion. We must go out and seek and save that which is lost. We must go out and work the field and plant and prepare others for the storm that is gathering in the distance. The world is sleeping and we have have been called into his marvelous light to wake up a lost dark dying world we are not to bury our talents and hide them in the sand we are not to shrink into fear and hide from a world that needs to see who we profess to be we all need to hear the word of the Lord and prepare ye, prepare for the trials of our faith to increase until the time of trouble has reached its climax and billions are tested with the mark of the beast. Soon everyone will be left to decide who they are going to worship and who they will love and who they will follow. Soon the Babylonian empire that is built up all around us the professed children of God need to get ready to stand in this day and hour that is coming before everyone. Soon, those who will not comply with the Pope's New World Order agenda, which has been established through the Club of Rome, is preparing for her great and final hour on this planet to fulfill the wrath of the dragon, Satan. Satan will not stop at anything to try and force everyone to worship him through the office of the Pope. As the world sinks further into the great deception, many are coming to the knowledge of the truth and seeing just how wicked and satanic the Vatican is. Just as many are seeing how wicked and satanic this institution is, they are all asking the very question that needs to be pondered in every person's mind who sees the light of truth and how wicked the Vatican is. Why is the world then following after the sinful teachings and the doctrines and the commandments and the traditions of men that stem from the Vatican today? This world is confused because they have gone in the way of the heathens and I invite everybody to turn away from Babylon and turn to the living God Jehovah and keep his commandments and obey your master in heaven that you profess to love so much and stop joining in Satan's rebellion and tearing down the very law that governs every Christian's conduct on this planet and in this universe. Even the angels of God keep his commandments and excel in strength. Today is the day to reconsider where you stand in this last great drama of this world's history and decide who you are going to obey, man or God. Who are you going to love more, man or God? Who are we serving today is the question we need to be asking. Look around you. Are we conforming to the ways of the world and looking and acting and dressing like them or are we perfecting our lives through the power of God? Are we doing everything we can to become more like Christ every day which will help us stand in the end when we may be called to die for our Lord Jesus Christ as billions are soon to face this great and final challenge. The armies of the world are preparing to come after everyone who would think to rebel against the system of the Antichrist Pope. So I say to all who may hear this message today, read your Bibles, prepare ye for the Lord's return, and prepare your lives to meet the everlasting King who is preparing a place for all who love him supremely. Peace.